The process of joint installation is a delicate process that needs to be executed with care and complete concentration. Detailed instructions are provided along with the elastomold pre-molded joint. Before beginning the process of joint installation, ensure that the work area is tidy and clean. The cable is clean and protected from the sun. This is done by placing a tent over the work area. To begin joint installation, adjust both ends of the cable to Specify each corresponding core to be joined according to the face sequence. Cut the extra length at the center line of the joint. Store the tubular copper braid over each phase of the long-sided cable. Remove the outer semiconductive layer of the cable as per shown in the instructions. Remove all core insulation from both cables from the end of the conductor as per dimensions shown in the instructions. Bevel the insulation edge. Clean the insulation surface for each core of the long-sided cable with cleaning solvent and clean wiper. Make sure that there is no scratch or defect in the insulation layer. Apply one layer of PVC tape over the metallic screen for a distance equal to the length of the housing starting from the beginning of the metallic screen reaching the insulation XLPE. Apply one PVC tape layer on the ends of the conductor for long-sided cable to ensure safe sliding of the housing. Clean and lubricate the XLPE insulation and PVC tape portion of the long-sided cable.
restore the housing by pushing and slightly twisting it in the direction of the wrap PVC tape till the insulation of the cable appears for a length as per mentioned in the instructions. Remove the PVC tape on the ends of the conductor for long-sided cable. Insert cable connector for each phase and be sure that the dimensions before crimping for all phases between each end of insulation do not exceed the dimension mentioned in the instructions. Crimp the connectors. Be sure that the dimensions after crimping do not exceed the dimension mentioned in the instructions. Remove any dirt or sharp edges from the connector to obtain a smooth and clean surface. Clean and lubricate all insulation of the short-sided cable cores. Slide the housing by pushing and slightly twisting into its final position. Proper positioning is ensured by observing and equalizing the deformation of joint ends caused by the underlying edge of the outer semiconductive layer. Pull tubular copper braid over each joint housing connecting the ends over the metallic screen using the spring clip. Collect the cores using adhesive tape to obtain minimum possible diameter. Remove the outer jacket of both ends of the cable as per shown in the instructions. Clamp the armor ends using house clamps. Wrap mastic tape over the house clamp for both ends. Wrap adhesive tape over the armor tightly. Roughen the surface of the outer jacket for both cable ends as per shown in the instructions. Wrap mastic tape over the outer jacket for both cables. Slide the first heat shrink tube over the joint. Shrink the first heat shrink tube uniformly with... The joint is now complete and ready for energization.